I'm Melissa Sardelli here with your online nightly newscast for Thursday, December 3rd. These are our top stories posted on WPRI.com tonight. Eyewitness News is covering the flu. Tonight, friends and family are asking for your thoughts and prayers for a local teenager who's seriously ill from the H1N1 virus. Lillian Shazon of Barrington has been hospitalized for 12 days in North Carolina, where she's a college freshman. Friends tell Eyewitness News she is now listed in stable condition. And if you want to take a look at her Facebook page dedicated to Lillian, just look on our homepage. Eyewitness News has the latest developments in the settlement case surrounding the station nightclub fire. Today, lawyers for the victim said they hope to have a final settlement plan as early as December 16th. However, until a judge approves the plan, money cannot be given to those who are injured or who lost loved ones. The February 2003 blaze killed 100 people and injured 200 others. New details on another Target 12 investigation. A federal judge has rejected disgraced lawyer John Cicilline's request to get out of prison early. The brother of Providence Mayor David Cicilline had been asked to be released immediately and sent to a halfway house. He is currently serving 18 months after pleading guilty to shaking down his drug dealing clients for money. Cicilline is scheduled to complete his sentence in February. A new study finds that Rhode Island is one of only two states in the country to see a drop in population over the past few years. Michigan joins Rhode Island as the only other state to lose residents from 2006 to 2008. Researchers say Michigan lost about 80,000 people, while the Ocean State lost around 2,000. And for all of your up-to-the-minute online nightly news, stay with WPRI.com. Thanks for watching.